picked the wrong guy. Really? I didn't pick you, huh? That's what's crazy. Who did? Well, back in July, Fox 4 Steve Noviello did what many people never have the chance to do. He confronted the person who allegedly stole his identity. She never talked. But a self-confessed identity thief is speaking exclusively to Fox 4 tonight, and he says he took North Texans for hundreds of thousands of dollars. And the former fraudster tells Steve knowing how he got away with it can keep you from becoming the next target. There were likes and comments. I want to high five you. Uh. National. Good move. Good for you, Steve. <laughs> Even international exposure. You picked the wrong guy. The moment I confronted the woman accused of stealing my credit card number was viewed more than a million times. A situation so sweet, it was even picked up by our competition. I was an identity thief. But here's what we never saw coming. This man is a self-confessed criminal who saw our story and contacted us to tell his own. How did you get the card? She didn't answer your question about how it happened, so I felt like it was my responsibility to let you know everything that I know. Ironically, despite the statute of limitations on his crimes having expired, he wanted his identity protected. Are you afraid of getting caught? I'm a little afraid of getting caught. And in exchange, told us what he has never told anyone else. Exactly how for two years he targeted North Texans. Richardson, Plano, Frisco. How much money do you think you got away with? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. How easy it was. Really got to the point that it only took about five minutes. And most importantly, what you can do right now that would have stopped him. I'm going to come and make a request to visit you after you get arrested and we can talk, okay? The accused in our original story wouldn't talk, but this former criminal confesses card numbers can be bought online, secured through secret skimmers at ATMs and gas stations, or even at a restaurant where he says all it takes is a willing waiter to get all of the numbers you need. And there are little devices that people can wear around their necks and it'll store credit card information that you can pull from the device later. New chip technology in credit cards generates a unique transaction number with each use, which makes that harder. But far more lucrative than stealing the credit you have is creating new credit in your name. And that starts here at your mailbox, especially the kind with easy access. They line the streets in most North Texas neighborhoods. Inside, right around the first of the year, tax documents with enough personal information to assume your identity. Easy to collect, even easier to prevent. I think the most secure thing to do is have a mail slot in your door that goes directly into your home because there's no way I'm going to try to get into somebody's house to get their mail. I mean, that's just too much. He says it's exactly why neighborhoods like Oaks North were a frequent favorite. I feel so bad for those people. I went through that neighborhood multiple times. An easy mark to find enough facts to begin to unlock access to your credit report. You pull your own credit report, they ask you questions. He'd look for answers by setting up an account in your name on sites like Ancestry.com, which would generate details automatically, like your mother's maiden name, unless... If they already have an account, you're not able to get into it. Enough of a roadblock to move on to someone else. But if successful, he'd gather more details and... Head to annualcreditreport.com to pull a free copy of your credit, available to him unless you had already pulled it first, but that was rarely the case. Most people don't check. Would that be enough to stop you? Generally, yeah. I could just move on to the next. Because it's that easy to just pick somebody else. Right. Ready with your report, he would look for holes in your credit portfolio. See if you had like an American Express, a Chase, um, Capital One. Selecting where to strike was simple. Wherever you did not have credit is where he would apply because chances are that bank would know nothing about you. That way I could maybe put in a different phone number or a slight change in information so it would be less likely to get back to you. Lots of already established credit actually makes you a bad target. There's too much information already on record. He'd apply for the most premium level cards. Not only do they come with high limits, but city, and American Express will send a high-level car directly through UPS instead of through the mail. Which he says could have been another easy chance for you to stop him. It's an account called My UPS, and uh, you register for it, and it kind of 
alerts you anytime you have a package or piece of mail coming through UPS to your house. By creating an account in your name, he would get the alert instead of you. And he'd stop the package at a UPS store, then pick it up with a fake ID. You would never know it was coming. Unless if you go on there and that person already has a UPS account, is that a roadblock for you because now they would get the alert? Yes. Same goes for the U.S. Post Office. When he knew a credit card was coming, instead of risking a visit back to your mailbox, he'd head to USPS.com, submit a request to stop your mail, then wait for it to collect and head to the post office to pick it up. Using a fake ID with their name? Yes. And your picture? Yes. Or picture this, using this criminal's confessional. Things that would stop me in my tracks is already having accounts um, with all the banks, already having checked your credit reports, having a mail slot, having a My UPS account, and having an Ancestry.com account. So the next perp is more likely to pass you by. Anybody can be a target. Now, we acknowledge there may be a bit of an outrage factor here. Some of you may be asking why we didn't turn this guy in. After all, he says he got away with hundreds of thousands of dollars. Well, we can't. The time on his crimes has expired. Instead, what we can do is take what he knows and use it to help you from being next. There is a lot of information in this piece. It will be posted shortly on my Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash save me, Steve. It is meant to be watched again and shared to help protect your friends and neighbors. All right, so Steve, he said at the end that anybody could be a target, but are his targets random? You know, he says it really was all about easy access. Always okay. that's how it was determined. The identity he would assume is really just a means of accessing that credit, right? What was so fascinating to me, though, was how much information he could obtain about somebody. He said it got to the point where if he had opened up a credit card in someone's name, and, and by the way, he opened about 150 of them, if the card ever got denied, he would call the fraud department and know enough about you to be able to answer the verif verification questions uh, to get the card turned mm. back on. Wow. Incredibly brazen, right? And yet something yeah. as simple as a mail slot in your door or a lock on your mailbox created enough of a hassle for him to say, you know what, I'll just pick somebody else because yeah. it's that easy. I, right. I love watching these stories with Heather and she's Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I know it's easy to do, but also yeah. it's like it's kind of a, a lot of work. You're driving around, get, it's like get a job, buddy. Do it. I, do what everybody else said, is doing. Again, to, took so five, cool. got to the point where he was so good, so at, good at it. it, so good at it. Five minutes, and if I can't get that guy, I'll go to the next. Yeah. How about Farrah Parks, the right. person you had the dream of confronting in the hotel who you, you used your credit card? What's become of her? Yeah, her status, and people ask me all the time. Farrah spent about 70 days in jail. She actually mm -hmm. just recently bonded out. An indictment was just issued yesterday. Uh, no word yet on any court date. We will, of course, though, be keeping you posted. Again, head to social media right now. We'll be posting the entire segment there in just a few minutes. Right. Thank you, Steve. Nice job, Steve. Thanks. Thanks.